Hey everyone, Brandon from Brandon's Baseball Cards here. Tonight's video is going to be a little bit different because I actually have a altered rack pack that I'm going to be showing and discussing. Uh, and we're going to actually break the rack pack open and see what's inside of it. Uh, this is a pack that was sent to me by uh, one of my subscribers. His name's Brandon. Uh, so he sent me an email and let me know that he had a pack that Steve Hart claimed uh, was tampered with. He sent it to him to uh, get authenticated, and Steve was unable to authenticate it. And it's this pack right here. It's a 1982 Tops, and there appear to be three Nolan Ryan cards on top. So we have the Nolan Ryan base card in the header cell. We have the Nolan Ryan team leaders card in the middle cell, and we have the Nolan Ryan fifth career no hitter card in the cell furthest from the header. There are a lot of red flags about this rack pack. There are several reasons why Steve would be unable to wrap it. I'm going to focus on the collation of the pack in this video because it's collation that is really one of the quickest ways that you can identify potentially fraudulent packs. Now, what does collation even mean, right? If you haven't seen any of my other videos about collation, uh, collation is essentially about which sheets of cards can appear in which cells of a rack pack. Tops made, typically they had six sheets of cards uh, when they when they did a uh, when they printed cards for the set, there's and these sheets at least in the 80s had letters associated with them. So there's an in 82 tops there's an A sheet, a B sheet, a C sheet, a D sheet, an E sheet, and an F sheet. Okay, so six different sheets of cards and with rack packs, the A and B sheet cards should be in the cell furthest from the header in 1982, the uh, 82 racks that have a cellophane header. Okay, there is a variation that we don't necessarily need to get into, but for this for this type of 82 tops rack pack, cards from the A and B sheets should be furthest from the header. Cards from the C and D sheets should be in the middle cell. Okay, and cards from the E and F sheet should be closest to the header. Okay, so EF, which is why when you, Ripken is an F sheet card, the Ripken rookie. So whenever you see a Ripken rookie in a 82 rack with a cellophane header, he's in this cell in a legitimate rack, in a legitimate 82 rack. It's because he's an F sheet card. Okay, so EF, CD, AB. Well, what sheet, you may be wondering, well, what sheets are these Ryan cards from? Okay. If this was correct, we would expect to see A and B sheet cards in this cell because it's furthest from the header. The Ryan uh, fifth career no hitter card is from the E sheet. So that is a, uh, this, this card is in the wrong cell. This is not correct. And, and another red flag, the card that's on the back is a C sheet card. It's Dick Davis is, is the player. So the card on the front and on the back of this cell, uh, they're both wrong, okay? And this isn't just some, you know, well, there's a lot of collation irregularities or sometimes, you know, Tops must have made a mistake at the factory. Generally speaking, 1982 Tops is very, very, very consistent with their, with their collation. And especially when you're talking the, co the collation with the cellophane header, there, there's a cardboard header, and the, there, uh, there's a cardboard header version of 82 tops, and there are some irregularities there. But anytime there's an 82 with this cellophane header, A and B sheet should be furthest from the header. Okay, so we have, again, we have E sheet on top, C sheet on back. That's a, that's a major, major red flag. The Nolan Ryan Team Leaders card. Okay, this is from the F sheet. The cards in the middle cell should be from the C or D sheets. So again, major, major red flag. F sheet card showing in the middle cell where C and D sheet cards should be. And on the back, there's another E sheet card, Bill Fahey. 
So the card again on the front and the back in this cell, uh, they're both incorrect. Okay. The Ryan base card, right? This is a B sheet card. This should be in the cell furthest from the header. It is in the cell closest to the header. If you look at 82 Tops Rack Packs with Nolan Ryan showing, look at the sales history on eBay, look at auction houses, you look at any 82 rack that's been authenticated by Baseball Card Exchange or, or um, potentially GAI, which is a, was another uh, pack authentication company, you will see Ryan exclusively, exclusively, again, with his cellophane header, you will see him in the cell furthest from the header. So we have this amazing rack pack, right? If someone is uneducated about collation and you see this on eBay, you would go, oh my gosh, this is the most amazing rack pack ever. Three Nolan Ryan cards on top? This, this is too good to be true. Exactly, it is too good to be true. And it's because the, the best way to spot this type of thing is to make sure you're aware of which cards can appear in which cells. Okay, so just to recap, with 82 tops, cellophane header racks, A and B sheet, furthest from the header, C, D in the middle, E, F in, in the cell closest to the header. Okay, so we have a, a B, B sheet card here where E and F should be. We have a F sheet card here where C and D, a C or D card should be. And we have an E sheet card here where an A or B card should be. So everything about this pack is wrong. And so it's it's unfortunate because it's 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 awesome, right? It, it, it's, it'd be a great display piece. Uh, but I have decided for the sake of trying to see what else is in here that we should open this pack on camera and see, see what's in here. Because my guess is, I could be wrong, you know, maybe there's something else in here. But if this is a fake pack, which this, the evidence does seem very much to suggest this is tampered with, then the only good cards that we are going to find probably are these three Nolan Ryan cards. Okay, because the person that made this pack put three Nolan Ryans on top thinking, ah, this'll be, this'll be an amazing pack and it, there'll be three Nolan Ryan showing I'm going to put these on top, and then the rest of the pack, you, you, you know, you put the, the commons, right? Because the goal is to get someone to buy it because of who's on top. So I'm going to open this on camera, and if there's a Ripken rookie in here, we'll know I'm a fool. But I'm confident in opening this pack because of what we know about collation. And again, the best way to learn this stuff is to look at a lot of rack packs. Uh, solo packs are a different animal, but there's a, there's a similar idea. Certain sheets of cards appear on top or on bottom of a solo pack. With rack packs, it's all about which cards are in which cells. And it, it takes a lot of work to learn this type of stuff. Uh, and some years do have collation irregularities. 1983 tops, 1984 tops, 1985 tops baseball. All three of those years have serious issues where certain cards, where cards appear in cells all over the place, right, where they, where they shouldn't regularly appear. That does happen, right? Tops did make mistakes at the factory. This is not an example of that. So let's go ahead and open it up. And Brandon, thank you very much for sending this. Uh, very much appreciated. And I, and I think this is a really great way to learn about how to protect yourself from fraud because it, it's unfortunate that people do get taken. And, okay, so we are opening the AB, the cell that should, that should have AB cards in it. Let's see if there's a single AB card in here. That'll be an interesting idea. So we have, of course, the Nolan Ryan fifth no-hitter, right, which is an E-sheet card. Let's see what we have here. We have a D-sheet card, Wayne Gross. So... A C sheet card, see this is just, they're just putting a whole bunch of random cards from random sheets. A C sheet card, a D sheet card. We haven't hit a single A or B sheet card yet. A D sheet card, 
And again, if it wasn't for the for the the serious problems with collation, this was actually a fairly good attempt at fraud because uh, the evidence of the resealing is, is is hard to see. D sheet card. Again, we have not hit a single A or B sheet. C sheet. Well, in shocker, they're all commons. Gary Alexander, C sheet card. D sheet card. Ron Jackson, D sheet card. So whoever constructed this pack clearly did not do their research on collation or just didn't care. The goal was just to Okay, so that's their C sheet and C sheet. So not a single card in the cell that should have A and B sheet cards was an A or B sheet card. All of these are not from the right sheet. So let's go ahead and open the second cell. This is the middle cell, so again, this should have C and D sheet cards. Let's see what we have here. So, of course, we have the Ryan, team leaders. F sheet, of course, that's wrong. John Tudor, E sheet, wrong. Checklist card, F sheet. Danny Darwin, E. Jim Beatty, F. Bob Sykes, E sheet. F sheet, yeah, these are E sheet, Doyle Alexander, F sheet, yeah, these are all, these are all wrong. F sheet, E sheet, <laughs> this is just crazy. E sheet, there's Chili Davis, F sheet, he would be in the cell closest to the header, the Chili Davis rookie, because he's F sheet, just like the Ripken rookie is F sheet. E sheet, F sheet, E sheet. So again, completely, completely wrong. Not a single card that was in that cell. I don't think there was a single C or D. Is there, is there any? No, not a single one. That's crazy. So now, the header cell. Okay, so of course we have the Ryan, right, which is B sheet. We have an F sheet card, Tim Lawler. Alex Trevino, E sheet. F sheet. Yeah, this is just insane. You see how these are all commons? There's not, we're not even hitting a semi-star. Tim Stoddard, E sheet. Okay, there's some, at least there's some, it's, it's so weird because the Ryan is a B sheet and the rest of these are actually appropriate cards for this sheet because they're E and F. But it still doesn't make sense that there would be a B sheet Nolan Ryan on top in a cell that should have E and F. So just crazy. Um, let's see what we have here. I'm going to keep going here. Jay Johnston, F sheet, E sheet, Greg Gross, F sheet, Joe Nolan, F sheet. So the, the Nolan Ryan is a B sheet card, and then the entire rest of the cell is actually E and F. And again, all commons, not a single, not even a semi-star. Bob Baylor, I mean, is that, is that, yeah, yeah, Bob Baylor, Jay Johnston, not even, no, not a single Hall of Famer in the rest of the pack. Nothing. Uh, and that's, again, that's not a coincidence. So... Hopefully this has been, if you've stayed to the end, hopefully this has been informative, but be careful. Be careful when you're buying on open material, especially if it's not authenticated. Be very careful, be skeptical, and ask yourself, is this too good to be true? And if you're worried, do some research on collation and see what uh, the typical 
uh, collation of rack packs uh, looks like for a given year. And if you ever have any questions, I, I'm always happy to talk. Uh, so feel free to reach out. And if I can't help you, I know people that can help you. So with that, I hope you all have a nice Sunday evening. Thank you again, Brandon, for sending this pack. Very kind of you. And I, I enjoyed uh, talking about this and, and showing what to look for with fraudulent packs. Have a great rest of your night and keep collecting vintage on Open Baseball, everybody.